Hi, I'm John Vasco, connected at and I'm here at the annual student conference with Evelise Rodriguez from the University of Puerto Rico. And uh, welcome, Evelise. Thank you. And uh, I know that you guys, um, University of Puerto Rico, won uh, the chemical car competition uh, a couple years ago, in 2011, yeah. correct? Yeah, we went first place two years ago, and uh, last year we went second place. Oh, you won second place yes. last year, that's right. Okay. And you guys are fierce competitors. Yeah. Right? So how do you feel about the competition this year? This year uh, we are really excited because we're bringing a new, entirely new car. Um, um, we changed everything from our last car, so we're really excited. This is the first time this car is going to be in a competition, so we are all uh, really excited because we've been working really hard on this. Okay. So tell, tell us a little bit about the car and how it works. Sure. Um, this car, his name, his name is Kaki GTE, mm -hmm. and um, it's powered by electro thermoelectric generators okay. and that works by creating a difference in temperature. It takes that difference in temperature and um, generates electricity. So that electricity we use it to move an electric car, an electric motor. Right. So um, here is the main container where all the techs are placed and we have to uh, put in a side a cold side and a hot side. The hot side we have an exothermic reaction and the cold side we have a cold liquid that we use um, ethyl glycol that is uh, commonly used as a coolant for cars. And in the exothermic reaction we're using the decomposition reaction of hydrogen peroxide. Okay. And uh, it generates a lot of uh, high temperature and with that high temperature we create that difference in, in temperature and that's how uh, the thermoelectric generators uh, generate the electricity to the car. Okay. So it works in a completely different way than yes. previous? Yes. Yes. Um, in the previous car we use uh, pressure as our uh, way to move the car. We had uh, a uh, motor engine uh, that we use pressure to move some pistons in the car. Here it's entirely electric car, so we're generating electricity to move the car. Okay. And this we are using it to power our car. We have another reaction that is for uh, the stopping mechanism. Okay. So in the stopping mechanism, we're using the same reaction but at lower concentration, and that generates a low pressure, right. and uh, it, it takes place in a reactor. This reactor is connected to this hose. Inside the hose is a dye water. So when you generate the pressure, the pressure is going to push all the water through the column up to this vial. In this vial we have a LED and a photoresistor and when the, uh, the water goes up blocks the light and the car will stop. So that's the way um, we control the car by varying the concentration of the reaction over here. So it's an entirely new car, new idea. Um, I haven't seen this stuff mechanism in the entire competition so far. So it's uh, it's really innovating, and we're really excited to test it out and, and see what goes out. And whose idea was it to to go for a complete change? Was it a collective idea, or did it come from a particular team member? Yeah, um, so we've been working with uh, basically the same car for the past last couple of years, but we wanted, even though it was uh, so successful because it had, we, it had won a lot of awards, right. we, we wanted to challenge ourselves. We right. wanted to come up with a new idea, not only modifying what we had, but coming something from scratch. Right. And uh, so we've been working with this for a couple of months, so it, it's really good to see how all come up and um, from paper to actually uh, seeing it. So it's been it's been about two months since, since you worked um, on this. Or? A couple of months since um, um, August. We started working on this August. We had the idea uh, last semester, but we actually sit down and redesign everything and, and start constructing it of this couple of three four months. So it's been a really really hard work, a really long night, but right. it's it's really good to see the car move and stop how and, and work how it's supposed to work. Right. Now one thing I'd like to ask you is the. Whenever Puerto Rico is, is you know up there with the car, the competition, the fans are the support that you have from your fans is, is incredible. Can you talk a little bit about that and why do you think Puerto Rico has so much more you know cheering going on than you know, uh, you know it, it's really just quite a bit. 
Yeah. Um, our team, it's it's just like a family. So we are all together all the time. We work so hard, and it, it comes out, um, and we are so successful. And it doesn't only come because of our work, because it's our actually our relationship between each other. Right. Even though we're so different from one each other, because we have chemical engineers, electrical and mechanical engineers, we come all together for the same goal. So it's that's one of the main reasons that our car has been like so successful over the years, and uh, that our our families and our friends, our our university see that, and uh, they're just really excited about uh, us from a little island coming here to uh, as such a big event and, right. and win so many times and, and awards. So it's it's really yeah. a great opportunity and, and so excited for us. Right. Well, well, I'm excited too. I wish you all the uh, luck and the car looks fierce and I'm sure that you'll do very, very well. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. You too. Thanks.